Saturday in Greenville. I can feel, I don't know what I feel coming from Coach <laughs> Staley right now. Coach, congratulations. Walk us through that final play that you drew up leading to that ball in Camilla's hands. Hey, we didn't have any timeouts. Um, and I know, I, I knew with the players that we had on the floor, pretty much the only player that was going to be open was Camilla. So I just told Ra Raven to get the ball to Camilla. And I told Camilla, hey, pass it to Powell. And then at the last second, I'm just like, Camilla, shoot it. <laughs> And like she's worked and her mom her sister her agent the first time they get a chance to see her play and she gives them that unbelievable are, are you do you have a heart monitor on that what's that heart rate looking like hey, right listen, now listen <laughs> listen I, I, I gotta go to the doctor on monday i know i'm gonna be prescribed some blood pressure medicine i know test. <laughs> what's it you know thinking about how you were able to get Camilla's family over here and then for her to deliver the shot the the mo I mean what's going through your mind when when everything goes down with that knowing all that process yeah. to get them over here man hey favor 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 uncommon favor uncommon favor um unbelievable unbelievable um, I, 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 there are no words I'm just happy I'm happy that we made all of these people here happy <laughs> And they get to come back and see us, you know, possibly win a, another SEC tournament championship. How'd you guys do it? How do we do it? How'd you do it? How'd you win this? Listen, um, I, let me just say Tennessee played great. Ten Tennessee played great. We threw different defenses at them. Um, we made them go deep into their offenses. And time and time again, they executed. Um, and, and for us, we, we did, it was a great game. It swung. We, we, we've made some uncharacteristic, undisciplined plays in the second quarter that we couldn't get our momentum back. And then we had to, we had to scratch and claw until the very end. But that was a great, it's, this is the SEC. You, you talk about this arena. It was so electric in here. This felt like a Final Four matchup. Just, you know, walk me through just first quarter. You guys came out red hot. It was a tale of two halves. Yep. What changed for you guys in the second half that wasn't really working like it did in the first? And, and, and basketball is all about swings. It's all about momentum. We had it in the first quarter. We had it. In, we had it through the through the second quarter, half of it, and then the, the last three minutes is when we lost it. And Tennessee went on a run, and they just kept plugging and plugging. Ricky is a, an excellent player. Jewel Spears was great. They all hit incredible shots after incredible shots, and we just had to we had to send out the prayer <laughs> and the answer. Lord, glory be to God. Oh my goodness. Don, I just want to ask you quickly, when you when you guys were huddled up, you got one second left, what gave you the intuition to tell Camilla, hey, shoot it? Well, it was like 1.1 seconds. She, she didn't really have an opportunity to pass it to Powell. And I saw how far they were playing off. I would have played off for her as well. So, you know, the last thing that came out of my mouth was Camilla. Shoot that blank and blank. <laughs> that's, that's what I said, shoot that blank and blank. <laughs> And Raven, the assist, there's no bigger assist than the Raven and Camilla connection than that. Coach, going into this season, there was so much made about a brand new lineup, how young your team is this year. What does a game like this one do for you, not only going into tomorrow, but for the rest of the month of March? I mean, a game like this is going to kill me. We have another game like this is going <laughs> to kill me. But it, it's character building. Um, I, I, I thought we played really, really uncharacteristic of us yesterday. And then today, we play a lot better. But that lot better wasn't wasn't good enough for a team that like Tennessee who's playing hot. I, I would not want to play that team in the NCAA tournament. But it's it's character building. It, it may come down to a play like that tomorrow. I'm just glad we familiarize ourselves with it. Camilla's gonna get defended from the three-point line now. <laughs> uh, you mentioned earlier the player Rakia Jackson. I mean, she's obviously a stud, and she pushed the team and put Tennessee in a position to win. What do you take from a Rakia Jackson or playing a player like that in the future when you're in your next game? What I take from it is our players, they're playing 
against the pro. Yes. Say they're they're they're. I mean, she did she did it all. We we were in her face. She made play after play. She made big shots. She had big assists. I just you know, Nick, it's unfortunate you don't get you don't have a top pick, Nick. Talk about that. <laughs> Coach, I know you got a lot left to do the rest of the day. We want to show you the shot one more time before we let you leave the desk. An unbelievable moment from Camilla Cardozo. You get, you get on the celebration here, too? <laughs> that, hey, <laughs> hey that's, that's festival, carnival in uh, in the Brazil. She loves, she actually <laughs> loves to go to the carnival, so... That's how she dances. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Coach. Congratulations Thank on the dub. Awesome. We will see you in the championship game tomorrow. Congrats. Thank you. South Carolina head coach Don Staley now winners of 37 straight against SEC opponents. A new conference record here for the SEC.